Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have a quick explanation of organ failure in the immune system for you and the inter interplanetary peace expedition that we are all rolled up into one. It happened this morning because I woke up at the same time as my neighbors and I've already explained it to them on the telepathic plane so I thought I'd explain it to you too. It goes like this. Inside our body, from our mouth down to the bottom of our body, we have a GI tract. And it has our, our throat, our stomach, our intestines, our rectum, and our anus in it. And our mouth, by the way. And so, and so this GI tract digests our food as you may know, and helping in the digestion process inside of our colons are bacteria and unfortunately viruses which are not much help. So the bacteria are inside our colon digesting, helping to digest our food. And then the, the uh, waste matter is eliminated, okay. If our GI tract somewhere is, is penetrated and the bacteria and unfortunately viruses and so forth get out of the GI tract and into the rest of our body. Then they can cause havoc with our body and start digesting us, for instance. And so we have an immune system. Okay, the immune system has has T cells in it and that attack and uh, and murder and dissolve the. Um, the bacteria and the viruses and so forth. Okay, so, so fortunately, the, we have an immune system that can take care of this escape of bacteria and viruses and so forth from our GI tract, right? And the stronger the, the immune system, the better our chances of escaping from these outlaw raiders, okay? And, and continuing on with a happy existence on Earth. There's a protective wrapping um, which I know it's going to decrease my medical credibility, but I can't remember the name of it right now. It's kind of like unleakable saran wrap. And this big sack of protective saran wrap is all around our vital organs inside of our torso. For instance, it's all around our heart and our kidneys and our liver all the very important stuff that we couldn't survive without, okay? So it, it completely encloses and protects those areas. The problem is if something gets out of the GI tract and then the saran wrap is penetrated, then what can happen is that these great invaders from the outdoors get inside of our bodies because what's in the GI tract is really outside of us. It's like a column that allows what's outside of us to be passed through us and digested and assimilated into us. Now, if there's an accident, uh, such as, for instance, a car accident or, or an ulcer somewhere in the GI tract or, or some kind of opening that happens in the GI tract that allows the, just a, a, a mass escape of outlaw guys, into the rest of us. What you get is what they call organ failure, important organ failure, like the liver, like the kidneys. They become infected. It's called sepsis, sepsis. And there's a, there's a great possibility of death at that point. And the sooner you get to the hospital and, and they implement the measures that are necessary to control the sepsis, and kill the outlaws, then the better your chances of survival in that situation. And that is why I advised when I heard that story about the about the screwdriver in, in the rectum, I thought, gosh, there's a, a strong possibility of sepsis, you know. Now, on the psychic plane yesterday, a young voice said to me, I'm hot, then cold. And what does that mean? They, they were really sick. And, and apparently, they were in that story, you know, that I published the other day about the, the screwdriver and so forth. And so I looked it up, and, and to my alarm, I found out, 
one of the symptoms of sepsis is very hot and very cold and so forth. So that young person had only a few hours to get to the, to the hospital and get, get medical treatment, and I'm happy to say it seems they did. That's great. I took the telepathic community that far today regarding the GI tract, the, the saran wrap, sorry, I don't know the name, and the protection of your internal organs and your wonderful immune system, which are your soldiers of the light, you know. And so the soldiers of the night in this case are the, are the outlaws that get into your body from your GI tract, all right? That's just one definition. And so there was one other thing I have to say, and that is the bacteria in your GI tract, they're from Mars. Mars, planet Mars, okay? They engineered your body. I'm sure you know this from reading my work on Martians. And you yourself, you are from Venus, planet Venus. You're more about love, you're more about the heart. Okay, so your physical form is an interplanetary alliance between two planets in our solar system, Mars and Venus here on Earth. I have to say, when I got to that this morning, everybody gave up and went away, and I'm sure I've lost you too, so that's my point of view on it. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. Check out my website, Awakening with Planet Earth https colon slash slash awakening with planet earth dot com in love light and joy this is Alice B. Claggett I am of the stars and you are too